Hey guys, this is Matt from The Second Spirit and I'm going to show you how to make an octave sweeper so you can quickly change octaves in your sound banks. If you're using massive or other things and layering sounds, I've noticed it's very difficult to quickly find the octave and change it easily with Ableton or Massive or VSTs. With this sweeper, you can do that. Just sweep this knob and the octave will change. I'm going to show you how to make it right now. Hey, this is Matt from Second Spirit. This is what you do. The octave sweeper. So easy and so fast. So what you do is you, um, you come down to a blank track. Insert a MIDI track. I already have the pitch come up because it's on my default. But you want a pitch control. And then I'm going to do three octaves each way. So I got to make three, six, plus one in the middle. So that's seven pitches. So I'm going to duplicate this seven times. Six, seven. To duplicate them, just control D. And then group them. Group them. Control G. Let's change these pitches. This is going to be negative 36. Like I said, I'm doing 36 down, 36 up. Negative 24, negative 12, that's zero. This is plus 12, first octave, second octave, and third octave up. Okay. And then go to make sure this button, the macro control, is pushed. So it's yellow. Push map and put map all these on and off buttons for each pitch button here. And... This really helps with layering sounds because I've noticed like I'll find sounds in Massive or something, but they'll be the wrong octave. And then I have to manually change them. This makes it so much faster. Okay, so now I got them all mapped up here, you see. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 128 is the Massive dial uh, value. Uh, the, 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 not Massive, the biggest value dial. So divide 128 by... Um, Right now I have seven buttons, that's gonna be 18 each. So this is gonna start at zero. And so each one's gonna be from a value of 18, around 18. And that's gonna be 19 to 36. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just kinda of want to be like around that. Uh, this area, it's 37 to 54, <clears throat> 55 to 72 in 73 to 90 and 91 to 108 8 and 109 to 127 okay so now we got all those mapped in and here we go take off the map and uh, see how it switches through the octaves real quick boom 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 awesome so now we could just uh, turn this off. We can uh, rename this uh, MIDI sweep or octave sweep. And let's set this as a default track. Why not, right? Okay. So anytime I load up, load up a MIDI track, that this will be the default. So right click on the track, click save as default MIDI track. I have one already in there. I'm going to overwrite it. So, and this is how it works. See, so yeah, I put one right here, Octa Sweeper 36. Here's my little melody. And this is just a start. You could actually do a lot of things with this, but see how it works. I can quickly sweep the octaves in my MIDI tracks. For great for layering. Um, there is something for audio. It's called Pitch Wheel. It's by Quick Quack. It's a great plugin I've heard about. I don't have it, but a lot of people use that for audio, especially for doing orchestrations and stuff. And um, this is Matt from The Second Spirit. Thanks for watching, guys. You could even delve deeper into this. Let's say you want to do just octave volumes here or other things. You can use these macros and have all kinds of fun with it, but I like it simple and easy and it's on my default track thanks for watching please subscribe if you like this video i usually have an ableton freebie at my blog the second spirit.com in the ableton section the links in the description all right let's make some music